Uh, it's really hot, but it's, it's, the light's really bright. So I, uh, but you leave them up. So I uh, would practice my autographs at five years old. At seven, at nine, at ten, I would practice it. Really cool how to write it. Thank you. <laughs> I'd look in the mirror and practice, cut, okay, roll them. <laughs> no, I did this, right? My mom thought I was sniffing glue or something. <laughs> All of a sudden, Martin Sheen said those words, and I thought, oh, my God. Okay, I had everything right. I had a dream again. I just didn't have a woman. And I went to God and said, God, you know, I need a woman. Well, never mind. You don't have a thing. You don't have, you know, you're God. What would you know about lust or sex or a woman you can love, right? Yeah. So my mother, she said, what are you praying for? I said, I was praying for a woman. <laughs> well, why aren't you anymore? I said, you know, God don't need a woman, Mom. He's God. Mom said, I think it's the Father, Son. And what if the Mother's the Holy Ghost, Son? <laughs> oh, I said. She said, Son, in the Bible it says, let us create man in our own image after our own likeness. He got one of those. He loves, I'm going to take care of, sorry, God, if I said it wrong, but... He knew what I felt like, and my mother said, and you know what? There is a guy, mom said, who was lonesome after he named all the animals, the tiger, the giraffe, the hippopotamus. And he said, did I hurt your feelings, did I? You're leaving? <laughs> okay, you coming back? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> as I pray, mom said, listen, the guy's name was Adam. Oh, Mom, it's in Genesis. I know, and he created this girl named Eve. Oh, I said, because I, and still to this day, when I know God has answered a prayer for someone in a certain way, I know he'll do it for me, right? Because he's no uh, judge of persons. He's got to do it for me if he does it for you. Vice versa. So I start praying in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, don't get mad, but boy, please. <laughs> Just give her that one gift, Lord. You know what I mean, right? So one day I'm writing mail, and this is like a week later. One day, and I'm praying every night for this. You know, God, I need a woman. I'm lonesome. I need, I need, I need. Please, God, please, in Jesus' name, please. I write this bond for this girl who works for a senator. And she gets caught shoplifting a lemon. <laughs> what? When she's got two watermelons? <laughs> and I thought, what is this? So her father calls me up. The bar was 300 bucks, $30. She calls me up. She goes, well, I need out. And I go, okay, I'll get you out tonight. The dad brings me the money. I send the money on the bus. I don't take it. So she takes an extra day to get out of jail. She's half Italian. She walks in my office a couple days later as she follows the twins in. I'll quit talking about her breasts in a minute. That's it. <laughs> uh, first I see that, and then I see her, and she goes, and who the hell posted my bond? My name is Alice Elizabeth Smith. <laughs> she, goes, Thank you. she goes, they call me Beth. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Now she says when she first saw me, she goes, oh yes, it will be mine. <laughs> so I want to put that in for it. It wasn't me just picking on her. And she's, you know, 12 years younger. And so since I've been out of prison about four years, I thought, oh, that's not cool. That's too young because they teach you stick with your age. But I thought, but she's so mature. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got such a big mouth. <laughs> And she like is cusses like a sailor, but she's Italian, so I guess that's okay. So I, t I ask her, once the bond is over, would you like to go out on a date? She goes, I've been waiting for you to say that. And I hooked up with her, and all of a sudden, she goes down and gets her bail license. Yeah, and she becomes a bail bondsman competing against me. So I, I tell her I caught this guy, here's how it happened. I come home with a gunshot wound. This guy shot me in the arm, blah, 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 blah. She's like, I wish I could have seen that. You didn't whoop that guy. I said, the hell, I didn't. Hell, he's telling your son, he said, baby, I know how to B-O-X. 
No, I wish I go. You want to go with me? So she gets this guy who's a jump about a thirty thousand. <clears throat> we catch this guy as he's coming across the street. He get, I trick him. He gets out of the car on the ground, freeze right now. I look, she's on the ground. <laughs> I swear to God, this is a true story. I said, not you, Beth. Stand up. <laughs> she's like, yeah. She's like, oh my God, you scared me to death. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> like, you're crazy. I go, you gotta act like that, honey, because we could get shot. All of a sudden, she calls me up, you got any more bounties? Oh, you like this, don't you, little girl? Oh, she's like, it gets me really excited. Yeah, I got ten more, baby. You talk about a hookup. Cha-ching.